Memory of Massacre is a movie that's about a guy who is just totally fed up. He's in this failing marriage. He comes home in a drunken stupor, decides to kill his wife, finds his wife the next morning, doesn't remember killing her, and she's in the microwave. She's in this microwave that they have these heated fights about. I wake up in the middle of the night dreaming about food I can eat with my hands. And what does he do? He decides to slow broil her. As one does. As one does when you find your dead wife in the microwave the next day. So going on, uh, he he decide he uh, he he develops a he develops yeah he develops a taste for flesh. That's what happens. He develops a taste for flesh. He goes around town looking for various whores, and he has sex with them, and then he kills them, and then he cooks them, and then he eats them. In this film, the lead uh, character, his name is Donald. He is played by Jackie Vernon. Happy birthday! Frosty the Snowman. You know Frosty the Snowman. You know Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. And now Frosty you get to hear Frosty, Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman. I cannot sing anymore. Because there's copywriters for Frosty the Snowman. Oh. That's no, completely that different. different melody. That was so different enough. That was really? You can't sue. That was fine. I think it was really? fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would watch all the Christmas uh, specials, and Frosty was my one of my favorites, if not my favorite, up there with Kris Kringle. And you grow up to see this. And I grow up to see this, and I'm just happy that I never came across it as a child. I'm so hungry. I could eat a whore. I would have been horrified. So back to... <laughs> no, microwave mask, <laughs> <I was kidding. laughs> All right. Back to... Stop! Stop! You realize you do the editing. Sam, what do you have to say about the movie? Uh, it's some horseshit. I was kind of confused for like, or confused about like what they were kind of going for in this movie. Like, is it supposed to be a comedy? Is it supposed to be a horror movie? Like when, he, when he's in the middle of clubbing her to death with a salt shaker, he throws salt over his oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, dude. That's, that's funny, funny, dude. That's, that's, yeah, funny. No, that's comedy. <laughs> but at the same time, he's killing his wife. You're a walking contraceptive. You know that. <laughs> right? Like if she was my wife, like... I can't even fuck it. I can't remember. I can't remember who plays her. I feel... I feel I don't even feel bad about it. I'm not, I was going to say I feel bad, but I don't. Because she never did anything else like... I think 10 plus actors in this film uh, either had a couple of roles before this or only did this role and after this movie came out that was it if you see it in the movie you'll be like oh yeah oh, oh that's yeah. why that yeah. makes sense that makes sense I hope that nobody put that on their sizzle reel hey at least this crazy dude ain't prejudiced says here the last girl who dropped out black <laughs> Dog me today, Donald. I <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> <laughs> it is though. It is the. That was a staged movie. reaction. Don't Much better it. than Donald's wife in this movie. What, what was the part where she was like, uh, any man would do? Oh yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Any, any man, man would, would do. do. Huh. I it's really super enjoy not it. good. It's super not good. I really enjoy watching it though. Yeah, I've seen it uh, many times. Uh, many times. I've seen it uh, many times. I saw everything, okay? okay. Yeah, everything I tell you, I saw. What, what, like, who's your least favorite character? I, May. May. I don't May. Know. Yeah, no. Oh, May, dude, favorite down. character, that's easy. It's Roosevelt. The bartender. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, dude, the bartender. The bartender. Um, so in this movie, uh, so Donald likes to drink and he likes to go get drinks at this uh, strip club, little bar. So Sam the bartender is the biggest asshole bartender you'll ever see in your life. Uh, he doesn't like anybody venting to him. He doesn't want to hear anybody's bullshit. He got his liquor license so he could sell liquor, and that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. But he's really nice. Uh, he'll talk to you about his hemorrhoids. <laughs> he will. Can I ever tell you about my hemorrhoids? So what do you think about, you know, do you feel that this movie, it's definitely a product of its time? But uh, today, do you think that this movie could be released and hold up on a socio-political scale? Absolutely not. You don't think that it would be released today, at least in its current state? No. Yeah, I could see that, like, working at that time, but, like, now, I feel like everyone's a little bit more sensitive. Uh, you know? I would definitely agree with that. Self-aware would be the word. That... No, I'd give it a copper. Just because, I mean, it is 
honestly a, a piece of shit, but it's made competently and it was entertaining. So, yep. copper. Yep. Sam? I'm going to go with Polished Coal because it is a terrible movie, but honestly, that's that's its charm. Like, it's, it's entertaining to watch. So I was at where Sam was not too long ago, and I think I'm actually going to have to bump mine back, uh, bump mine up to a copper where Tiger's at, because if this movie were a piece of coal, polished or not, I don't think I could sit through it as many times as I have. Two coppers and a polished coal. And that beats polished coal, so we're going with copper. Golden line of the week goes to... Is in the microwave. Thanks for watching, guys. We've been the Real Diggers. Be sure to tune in next week to check. I said tune in again. That's fine. Everybody, everybody, in. everybody says you can that. say All tune right. in. It's fine. All Jesus. Right. All right. We're gonna have another video out next week. So if you're interested at all, that'd be cool. Go ahead and give it a watch. And Thanks if you don't, watching. I know exactly how to find you.